As the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft was coming to land, all of India held its breath. We are nearing and approaching the lunar surface. And suddenly, touchdown! Yeehaw. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is now on the moon. And the landing was very, very soft. This soft landing leading to hard party. Very proud. Yes. Congratulations. Many congratulations. I am feeling the goosebumps. We feel very proud to be Indians today. This is a very great day. India is the first country to land on the south pole of the moon. Now, a tiny rover called Pragyan will spend two weeks cruising around the moon's rough terrain looking for signs of frozen water. If it finds H2O, it means we Earthlings could one day whack a moon base there from which we could explore other planets like Venus or Mars. But I simply refuse to touch Uranus, OK? And I think I want to point out one more very interesting fact to all of you. Guess what? A very significant number of scientists who worked on India's moon mission were women. People are applauding. I'm feeling super excited and super motivated. This success belongs to all of humanity. Amazing what you can do in a studio in Bollywood, isn't it? Oh! It's oh. oh. <laughs> an early conspiracy show. No, I'm, ha I'm happy for them. It, I've often thought about this. I think it's a source of national Australian shame that we haven't gone to the moon. Really? Australia. You've, you've often thought about I've that. I've often thought it. We have a housing crisis. <laughs> Get us up there, you know? <laughs> It didn't, solved so many problems. Didn't we helped though, didn't we, with the the dish? Yeah. Oh, the dish. Or is that just a movie? <laughs> <laughs> the dish exists. The dish we went real. there in our caravan. There's great parking out the front for the caravan. <laughs> yeah. But I digress. Back to India. I, I love the fact that you know they say that they can actually do this. Australia can't do this because Why I this? think it would cost Why? way too much money. Yeah. Oh. In India, oh. they're talking million. about the fact that it was yeah 114 million, and they can do it because they've got the ability to copy technology, and they've got a huge amount of engineers who yeah. actually the labour costs are really low. So I think it's out of the question for Australia. Right. So if you don't pay your scientists that much, that's what you can that's achieve. That's what you get. You can go to the moon. I right. how excited they were, though. I think we've got footage of Modi waving a flag here. This yeah. is... Look at that. Now that... <laughs> that is that's what I fake. call excitement. Can I just ask, <laughs> is he even waving that or is that just someone below screen? I think... I think sticky it, knee style. AI made that. I think none, none of that is real. The, the crowd reaction is great. It is it's, it's the same reaction as you get at the cricket. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. This is just the way they celebrate. Yeah. And that's why I think India should do everything great. OK. Because they celebrate it better than anyone else. Yeah, mm. that's, for me, that's a great theory. What else could they do, Waleed? Oh, God, I, I wasn't ready for that. You weren't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs>